What up everybody, it's your boy, this my sneaker hat in the house coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Truly appreciate all the support. This is kind of just a random video that I'm doing, part in how dark it is, but it's nighttime. Didn't want to get out any lighting. And I just wanted to do a video. Cause as you can see, I decided to keep going. My videos will be random. I'll try to do them more often like I used to, but um, I may try to start doing them again every Thursday. I'm not sure, but I just want to say this first and foremost. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten. Last week I dropped that video and it wasn't for any support because I didn't gain any subs or anything out of it, but I was really considering leaving. And you know, I'm still up and down a little bit, but I've had so many people hit me up, text me, call me, you know, all the comments have been mad supportive and you know, it's all, everything that everybody said in the comments was true. And I got, and I just decided to keep doing this for the reason why I started my channel, which was just for the love of sneakers and just to have, to have an outlet to connect with people that have the same passion that I do about kicks. So regardless of how many subs and all that that I get, if it happens, if it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'm all right with that. I'm no longer, you know, sometimes you can't help but focus on it because you do want growth just to get more people out there and, you know, to and connect and link up with more people. I could care less about all the, the, the free stuff and seed and all that. I don't care about that. But I did want to make sure that I grow my audience to enjoy sneakers as much as I do and to bring everybody together. So, you know, that was really what I was at a crossroads with. And again, with the changes, with the YouTube policies and everything, it was just and just the, the direction a lot of videos are going, it was just getting too much for me. So again, I'll try to do it more consistently, but I can't guarantee it'll be weekly or three times a week or nothing like that. I won't even bother trying to pretend to promise that to you, but I am going to keep my channel going. All right. So, um, just wanted to do a quick discussion vid. This weekend was a big weekend because the Space Jams dropped today. Um, yes, I was able to secure my pair. I was actually able to secure a couple pairs. Um, and um, I'm not even sure I'm going to keep all of them because honestly, I said I wanted to double up. But I kind of want to talk about that a little bit in this video. Um, and I'll also show you a sneaker pickup because I said I had a lot of pickups or a handful of pickups. The last several months that I just didn't, uh, you know, show you guys because I wasn't making any videos. So I'll quickly show you one of the pickups that I got. This one is easily probably one of the biggest sneaker releases of the year. Probably be in a lot of people's top five, if not top ten. So I was able to uh, get a pair here of the band ones. I know the light is making it look like it's the it's those. Um, whatever those satin ones but no these are just the the bread ones man amazing shoe I was so happy to have this now everybody that uh, that follow my channel knows I have a 94 pair of bread ones that a subscriber sent me that he restored and again big salute to you I rock those heavy but I was super happy to get this quality is on point comfort is on point this this was beautifully done so I don't need to describe the shoe but this is one of my later pickups that I've had in recent months so I'll keep doing some videos of my other pickups that I got but I just wanted to show you guys the band or bread ones whatever you want to call them but on to the discussion with the Space Jams super super hyped this year that uh, these drop I still do want to get a 09 pair because of the fact that uh, I still like the the blue tone of the Jumpman and, and certain parts of the of the 09 or, or the 2000 release um, and I'll have a sweet a, a cool sneaker story when I get my pair in so I'll save that for the next video in terms of the 2000 Space Jams uh, Space Jam 11's but Nike this year did a whole bunch of weird rebranding with the whole Space Jam thing because it's the 20th anniversary so they came out with the 9's and decided to call those Space Jams what made no sense to me then the 31s and a whole bunch of other sneakers were in the Space Jam colorway. And I actually do like the 31 Space Jams. I can't even front. But there were a lot of pairs again of the Space Jam 11s this year. Hopefully everybody was able to scoop a pair. But they still sold out. And um, all the stores here locally sold out. 
you know, Nike's, it's uh, Nike.com sold out. So it was another huge success. And at once again, even though there's probably a million plus pairs, I'm talking boutiques that I normally go to, like Hicks USA had the Space Jams, Ubik, JD Sports in the UK had the Sp Space Jams, which they've never had any Jordans, much less Jordan 11s. So a lot of stores had them and they still sold out. So, you know, that's something I just wanted to touch on because a lot of people are like, oh, are they going to sit? Oh, did they make enough pairs? But when it comes to the 11s, especially the way they beautifully package this one and they really retro it where it has the higher patent leather. They even put the peaks on there, the 45, you know, the box, all of that. 11s almost always sell out. Every year, some people are like, oh, the Concords aren't going to sit. I mean, are, aren't going to sit, even though there was well over a million pairs. And look, them bad boys sold out quick. The Gamma Blues were one a lot of people slept on, and that sold out hella quick. 72 and 10s last year. They didn't sell out the same day, but within a couple days, they sold out. They've even done a couple restocks, and it sold out. The 11s are just a money maker for Jordan, which is why I think they take so much time in... You know, inc including things that aren't in other Jordans. It was a 220 price tag, like the True Blues, like other Jays that dropped. Yeah, this one came with this great packaging and everything. And I do kind of wish Jordan brand would do that for all their shoes. You know, the 11s always come with the plastic shoe trees. You know, the this time they didn't do the slide out box, which is good because I personally hate the slide out box. And it had that sweet Looney Tunes packaging. That alone added that value to the shoe. So I just wanted to know what you guys thought about the release of the, of the Space Jam 11s. If you liked them, if you didn't like them, um, what you thought of the price. Because I thought, okay, 220 is high, but you know, people, there's still going to be some resellers out there trying to sell it for 300, 350. You know, I haven't really checked if it hit the 400 mark, but I know some people are trying to sell it for about 350. Again, hopefully everybody was able to get their hands on a pair. But um, I'm super hyped to have them. I still want to get the 09 just to have. Um, but I don't know if I'm... I, I, even though I have three coming in, three pairs coming in, I think I'm just going to keep one and look out for some people on the other two. Um, because initially I wanted to double up, but I'm having trouble doubling up any sneaker. Honestly, really the only sneakers I think I'll double up would be my super grail like when the concords when those retro i may double up the foams even those i, I thought i was going to double up on but i don't know the royal foams because i still have my 2010 pair which looks amazing and you know foams last forever and i just thought that i'd be like yeah let me double up rock one stock one but then i just realized look every few years we're going to get the same shoe from jordan brand so i don't mind just getting one and then waiting for the next drop to happen. So just let me know down below if you're doubling up, if you like the Space Jams, if you're rocking with them, if you bought them, hate them. Just let me know down below your whole experience in copping them. Um, also, let me know about the price tag and if you like the way they really went super OG with this. And you know what? Also, let me know down below what you think next year's Jordan 11 is going to be. Do you think it's going to be a new colorway? Do you think it's going to be a retro? I'm kind of hoping it may be the cool grays or the breads. Um, honestly, I would really love for it to be either one of those two because I don't actually have the breads or the cool grays in my collection. So I'm hoping that one of those will retro. But yeah, that's it, folks. I just wanted to do a quick Space Jam talk, show you my pickup and get this vid out, you know. But uh, yeah, that's it. Again, pardon the light. It's nighttime. Didn't feel like setting up anything. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. And again, thanks for all the support I've gotten. I cannot appreciate it enough. So thank you guys for everything. And with that being said, it's your boy, the Smart Sneakerhead. And a brother is out. Peace.